皆さんこんにちは。NGB 衣装ワールドツアー第2回ロシア編のナビゲーターを務めます NGB の斉藤敏行と申します。各国の衣装プロフェッショナルから衣装の最新情報をヒアリングするこの企画第2回目の本日はロシアのゴロディスキー事務所にお話を伺います。それではスタート。まずはじめにゴルジスキーパートナーズで副マネージングパートナーを務めているアレクサンドロフ先生にご挨拶をいただきます。ドクター・アレクサンドロフ、Please introduce yourself and ゴルジスキーパートナーズ。Hello, my name is Evgeny Alexandrov. I am a deputy managing partner of the law firm Gorodiskin Partners and head of legal trademark and design practice with more than 20 years experience in the intellectual property field. A major part of my work connected with providing legal services to national and foreign clients, including Japanese companies. All services relate to legal advising, litigation in patent, trademark, and design cases. The law firm Gradiskin Partners is the leading IP law firm in Russia and Eurasia with more than 60 years history. The firm's patent and trademark attorneys and lawyers have extensive experience in all aspects of trademarks, patents, designs, copyrights. Licensing, litigation, online brand protection and anti counterfeiting, personal data protection, and other services. We render services to major domestic, foreign, and international companies and individuals in more than 100 countries. We have 12 offices in Russia and one office in Ukraine that allows us to handle various IP matters directly in the Russian Federation, Ukraine, and before the Eurasian Patent Office. The overall number of professionals is about 140. The total personal number is more than 400. Thank you, Dr. Alexander. Let me introduce the second speaker, Mr. Vichaslav Lipchak, who is a partner with Gorodisky and Partners. Mr. Lipchak is a Russian trademark and design attorney, Eurasian trademark design attorney, and head of design department. He has more than 20 years' experience in IP and specializes in obtaining legal protection for industrial design, trademarks, and application of origin of goods. What is Eurasian industrial design patent? Which countries are covered? The Eurasian design protection system is a direct development of the Eurasian Patent Convention. The member states of Eurasian Patent Convention signed a protocol on protection of industrial designs, which entered into force in March this year. As from the 1st of June this year, first applications for Eurasian industrial designs have been already filed with the Eurasian Patent Office. The Eurasian Patent for Industrial Design provides protection in all countries for which the protocol entered into force. Actually, the protocol is valid for five countries Russia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. The other countries, signatories to Eurasian Patent Convention, Belarus, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan, are supposed to implement respective national procedures for joining the protocol in the nearest future. What are main requirements for Eurasian industry design application? Applicants not domiciled in member states of the protocol should be represented by Eurasian patent attorneys duly registered with the Eurasian Patent Office. The patentability of the claimed solution will not be affected by disclosure of information about design in case the Eurasian application is filed within 12 months from the date of disclosure. An application can include up to 100 designs in one application. But provided they all belong to one and the same class of Locarno International Classification. An application must include representations of the design, but no more than seven views for each claimed design. The elements or parts of the design for which the protection is not claimed can be represented with dotted lines. In case of refusal to grant a Eurasian patent for industrial design, there is still the possibility to transform the Eurasian application. 
into a national application in the member state per choice of the applicant. What are particularity of procedure before the Eurasian Patent Office? The procedure before the Eurasian Patent Office is rather simple and transparent. It starts with preliminary examination when the compliance of the application with formal requirements is checked. In case the result of preliminary examination is positive, the application is published for opposition purposes. It's important to note that no deferment of publication is provided by the Eurasian procedure. After preliminary examination, the Eurasian Patent Office conducts the substantive examination with due note to oppositions if filed by third parties. In case of decision of grant and after payment of respective official fees, the Eurasian Patent Office issues a patent which is also duly published in the official bulletin. In case of refusal, it is possible to appeal the refusal decision with the Eurasian Patent Office and further with the president of the Eurasian Patent Office. Taking into the account the mentioned stages, it's expected that the overall registration procedure from filing the application till publication of the patent in case of smooth procedure would take about seven, eight months. What the advantage of obtaining the Eurasian Industrial Design Patent? The Eurasian Design Protection System has obvious advantages. First of all, by the way of filing one single application, you receive a unified protection of your design on the territory of all member states where the protocol entered into force. Furthermore, the Eurasian Design Protection System is very flexible as far as formal requirements are concerned. In particular, it provides for so named soft unity requirement for the claim designs. Namely, one application can be filed for up to 100 designs belonging to one Locarno class. One of the features of the Eurasian Design Protection System is a limited ex officio examination and also an active involvement of third parties in the proceedings by the provided possibility to file oppositions. In particular, Novelty and originality of the claimed solution will be checked by the examiner only in case an opposition is filed by a third party and only in frames of information and materials submitted with the opposition. A further advantage of the Eurasian Design Protection System is its cost effectiveness. The amounts of official fees to be paid by applicants by using the Hague system of international registration of designs are much higher than the fees provided by the Eurasian Design Protection System, if the application covers the same countries. The fees of the Eurasian Design Protection System would be lower than the total amount of fees to be paid in case you file a separate application in each country of the Eurasian region member of protocol. Is it possible to license or assign the Eurasian industry design? Yes, uh, the exclusive right to the Eurasian industrial design can be subject of a license and assignment agreement. It can be subject of a security in, of interest agreement as well. The assignment of the exclusive right for an in Eurasian industrial design to another person is possible only for all the member states within which the patent is valid. In the meantime, the right to the Eurasian industrial design patent can be assigned with respect to all or any of the industrial designs specified in the Eurasian industrial design patent or Eurasian industrial design patent application. At that, the assignment shall not be permitted in case it can cause confusion with respect to the manufacturer or place of manufacturer. The security of interest agreement may be concluded with respect to all the member states with within which the patent is valid. Both assignment and security of interest agreements must be registered before the Eurasian Patent Office, while the license agreement can be registered by the National Patent Office of that member state in, with respect of territory of which the relevant license is granted. The National Patent Office shall immediately after the registration of a license agreement notify the Eurasian Patent Office of such registration. The Eurasian Patent Office shall publish information about assignments, licenses, and security of interest agreements in the official bulletin of the Eurasian Patent Office. How to enforce the Eurasian industrial design rights? The exclusive right 
to an Eurasian industrial design is valid in the territory of all member states and shall be enforceable as the local industrial designs in the order provided by the national law of the member states on territory of which the infringement takes place. Actions that can be recognized as the illegal use of the industrial design shall also be determined in accordance with the national legislation of the respective member state. In case of infringement, the law enforcement authorities are entitled to request a translation of the Eurasian industrial design pattern to a national language. Thank you very much, Dr. Alexandrov and Mr. Ribjak. Dr. Alexandrov, please give us closing comments. We hope this information will be helpful for the Japanese applicants. We appreciate our cooperation with NGB and I would like to thank NGB for this unique opportunity to talk to you and we are happy to participate in this NGB Patent World Tour project. Thank you very much and goodbye. Thank you very much, Dr. Alexandrov. インタビューは以上となります。ユーラシア工業省を利用することで、自転車が有効化された国々への権利を一室眼で取得することができるようになるため、ユーラシアショックでの権利化を検討する場合には有効な選択肢と考えられますね。皆さん、最後までご視聴